This is Open Mailbox. Today, I'll demonstrate how to write custom commands for your GTA 5 5M server. We'll write a pair of admin commands for showing your current location and for moving to some other position somewhere on the map. If you don't already have a development 5M server running, check out some of the prior videos in this series with uh, instructions for getting up and running. 5M commands can be client side or server side. The difference between the two is in the name. Server commands are obviously more secure because the code runs on the server. And if you want to permission your commands, they have to be on the server. So that's what we're going to use today. This is a fresh 5M server install. So I'm going to start by creating a new admin resource. And then I'm going to uh, add a new resource manifest. I like to make sure to use wildcards in the file name so that I don't have to add individual files later. And I always set up my resources the same way with the same directory structure. So I'm just creating those now. Our commands are going to be permissioned. So make sure that your license is added to your server.cfg. This is the example file from the 5M website. And uh, we're going to rely on some of the server side state functionality that only exists in one sync. So your server.cfg needs to have one sync installed. First, I'll write a slash lock command for showing our current x, y, and z coordinates. Every command is a function that takes three arguments. Uh, the first argument is the enactor. Second argument is the arguments. The third argument is just a uh, raw form of the command, including arguments. Uh, every command also has to be registered. The last argument, in this case, is a Boolean indicating whether the command is permissioned or not. So we're going to set that to true. If you're writing a client-side command, uh, setting that to true has no effect. I'll start by getting the current player's ped and the ped location, and then I'll send those coordinates via a client-side event to the front end to show in the chat window. If you're not sure how to send a message to the chat window, you can find the documentation on the 5M docs website uh, under the chat resource. If you want the documentation for the native functions like get entity chords, those will be at runtime.5m.net. All of the resources will be linked in the video notes. One thing I don't really like about our slash lock command so far is all of the extra decimal places after the coordinates. So I'm going to truncate those numbers down to three decimal places. That looks much better. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new file for our goto command. This command will be structured in a similar fashion to the slash lock command. The major difference will be that we're expecting three arguments this time for our x, y, and z coordinates. We'll set up some basic error checking. Um, we'll show the correct syntax for the command in the chat window if we need to. And then for right now, we'll just print a message to the server window indicating where uh, we'll set up the teleport. The last missing piece is actually moving the player. For this, we'll use a custom uh, event that's triggered from the server and sent to the client. I like to define those um, in a special file under the shared directory that's included on both the client and server side. Next, we'll trigger our event from the server to the client that enacted the command and we'll pass along the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Now I'll create a new file on the client where we will receive our triggered event and actually move the player's location. Writing an event handler is a lot like writing a command. First you write the function, then you register it as an event handler and tell 5M what kind of event it's going to handle. Finally, we'll use some additional 5M native functions to move the player's current ped to the coordinates that we passed down from the server. Now we can reload our resource and use the slash go to command to instantly move our player to any place on the map, uh, even if that place doesn't exist and then we end up falling through the floor. There's one last thing I want to add, which is just a confirmation message in the chat window so that the player can see the coordinates they were moved to. That's all there is to writing your own custom commands for your 5M server. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you're looking for a 5M community uh, with a server, 
uh, check out wiki.timeservedrp.com. That's the 5M server that I'm working on with help from some friends. There will be a link in the video notes. Hope to see you there.